Welcome everybody to another episode of Football Manager 2019 with me, Iflux Managing Sampdoria and we had such a busy transfer market window, whatever, during the summer. So we just closed and I didn't know, but apparently in Italy um, the window closes when the league starts, kind of like in the UK as well. Um, maybe they implemented it at the same time, I don't know, but yeah, I'm happy to see this. And uh, let's see what happened. Let's see what happened. Let's start with the people that left. So Politano, he was getting, yeah, he was getting quite old. Everything else was nice. I wouldn't mind keeping him, but if I could take him off the wage list, um, I would, and I did. Um, we don't need three um, left defenders, so left fullback. So yeah, I got rid of him. Well, for loan, but hopefully he will. He will live permanently eventually. I also sold Philippe Suarez just because I have a lot of good center mids and Reading was willing to pay for it. So yeah, and then the goalkeeper. This was a tough one. I really didn't want to sell this goalkeeper because he was very good. But for 30 million, just like that, up front, there's nothing it's like it's like nothing like no clauses no percentage laid like 30 million up front i can't i can i cannot say no and i thought i was in trouble but i could actually find a good a good goalkeeper which i'll show you in a bit and we sold this kid i mean he has great potential the statistics aren't great for 17 year old but yeah we'll see if this was a bad uh, sell or not and then I was saying in the previous episode or a few episodes ago that I wouldn't sell defenders, but I can say no to a good business. Look, <clears throat> to a good deal, I should say. Look at this. Look at this. I bought them for 2.9 uh, million. I mean, peanuts, right? And then two years later, I sell them for 36 million. <laughs> it's just, how can I not say that? And at the time I was in, you know, I mean, we still are, aren't great. Let me just show you real quick. So because of, of the um, situation we got ourselves in last season, uh, the board only allowed me 20% transfer revenue. So after selling 30 million of that uh, of the goalkeeper plus 30 something million of the center back, now I have, I'm healthy. So I'm not going to commit any crazy stuff like I did last season. Just last season I was so disappointed with the team. <clears throat> And that's basically it. And what else? So this guy is going to be an awesome player. I have almost no doubts about it. So he went out on loan. Francescon, remember this name. This guy we sold because we really didn't care about him. Diogo Braz. He was a nice squad player for us, but now we have a much better team, which I'll show you in a minute. And yeah, these are all youngsters that don't really have a chance most likely in the future and uh, yeah that's it for the players that left and we made 90 million which was awesome and now let's go to the players that got in and look how much we spent only 14 million so first <clears throat> Fabio Rossi he's not amazing but he's good and he's going to be very good um, rotation player for us he came free transfer from Inter, so and how much is it? Well, 15 million, so yeah, I think this was a no-brainer. Why is he a first team? Maybe I had to negotiate him being a first team to get him. Hmm. Yeah, but he, he won't be first team. And then I got this kid, which I think is going to be awesome. 19 year old, again, free. Look at his stats. This guy is going to be amazing. Then another one that's going to be amazing. <laughs> 18 year old. Bernard Pint is going to be an awesome center mid. He just, he already, he already is. So this was amazing. And look, peanuts, great players for peanuts. And then I got this guy on loan because for two reasons. First, because I'm happy with the three strikers I have and I need a fourth striker and I didn't find anyone I wanted to buy and I wanted them to be Italian because I had so many foreigners, I couldn't uh, register all of them. So I, I needed to, to get some Italians, um, Italian players on the team. Then we got this guy. So this guy is the replacement for our goalkeeper, Audel. Look, 
is is very good is very good is at the same level um, I think it's the same level of Emil it's not too different it's not too different maybe slightly less good but only slightly and look look at I mean I, I made 28 million no 27 million dot two pounds in um, in profit I couldn't say no so yeah it's, I think it's amazing we'll see you will see and he's still young for a goalkeeper so yeah i think we made a very very good um a very good purchase and oh we got this guy as a low knee and with the option to buy i didn't negotiate this guy very well to be honest uh what is the option yeah option 11 million i mean i don't know if this guy is going to be worth 11 million it depends how he progresses physically is, is a beast mentally is very good but technically yeah he needs to improve marking and tackling and heading if if he doesn't improve significantly i'm not going to trigger that clause but yeah we need it mostly for rotation and um oh i'm so anxious to show you the last one so we got another goalkeeper this is for rotation it's pretty good but again i need an italian goalkeeper so i need italian players that is so i, I to get him and then look at this you see this name Edmilson gomes 17 year old look at these stats i didn't even scout the guy as soon as i saw these stats because it was like on the, on the today today i mean game time or yesterday game time like i had to buy him and i, I offered five million i didn't know how much okay <laughs> i just went five million they accepted it so maybe i could have got them gotten him cheaper but look at this i don't think i can go wrong with this guy what a magnificent player and he's 17 years old he's probably going to play a lot <laughs> this is just i mean so look how many portuguese players we got one two three all of them with the potential to be world-class players i mean this is just amazing and i'm so excited because i love this i love to find these youngsters in this one oh, if i had like a, a some kind of heart rate monitor uh, that I could record and show I probably <laughs> my heart would have uh, jumped the graph would have jumped when I saw this guy I couldn't believe my eyes 17 years old oh god so yeah I'm feeling very optimistic for this season very optimistic look at this in a few years time I'm probably still going to sell them although now the finances are good but we'll see how we end up at it oh okay sorry I cannot talk let's let's try again let's see how we will end up with at the end of the season because um this is already a decent amount of money but yeah we'll see and that's it and that's it let's take a quick look at the squad so goalkeeper awesome goalkeeper the um, backup goalkeeper also very good on the right side of our defense not amazing as center backs yep no problem at all I love them all <laughs> and on the left hand side yeah pff, amazing players as well center mids this guy got unhappy because I accepted the transfer offer for him it's his last year of contract he gets a big wage he obviously although he's still very good I'm I, I don't I'm not in a hurry to sell him okay but I accepted the offer I got like seven million for this guy and and because i have so many good center mids i was like, why not it's last year maybe i won't renew with him we'll see and um i accepted the offer he rejected the contract and then he got upset like <laughs> okay it was weird and this is the new guy you'll see how good he is um defensively his stats are not amazing and that's the only weak spot i i have here which is um my defensive mid my midfielders not defend my midfielders are not good defensively so yeah yeah i tried to sell him as well to take him off the now that i have so many good players take him off the wage list but nobody got him so i'm going to say you're a backup player i'm not going to transfer you yeah let's do it like this okay yeah and um yeah i think that's it 
And this guy is going to be. He might be good at uh, at um, a deploying playmaker because he's good at tackling. Decent at marking. Positioning not so good. Mm. I'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll experiment. I was also adapting him to an inverted winger, but his crossing and dribbling is not amazing. So yeah, we'll see how this guy evolves. For sure, he's going to turn out turn to be turn out to be a great player. It's just I don't know exactly which will be his best position. I'm tempted to just keep him as a deep lying playmaker. Although his work rate is not amazing, but uh, hopefully he'll progress. He's still young. Where am I training him? Yes, yeah, the playing playmaker. Yep. Uh, where was I? Yeah, showing the squad. You're right. So yeah, and then Gilvier, this guy. <laughs> Look at this. I'm so lucky in this transfer win. I found so many great players, and then Pires and Noah are going to be our main strikers, and we have these two players, which will be very good rotation players, and. Chelsea tried to buy him and obviously I didn't sell him well obviously because I couldn't find anyone else as good for a decent price and at the time when I had to reject the transfer I didn't have this amount of, of money and still look my transfer budget is very very limited because of what happened last season so yeah I was stuck and uh, here we are I leave the friendlies to my assistant manager and unfortunately I was so busy with the transfer market I didn't even <laughs> notice that he only scheduled two friendlies so yeah, um, hopefully we are not in too bad shape, uh, we'll find out, we'll find out. So let's just get right into it and see, and see how our new players will perform. Oh no, oh there we go, oh there we go, okay I don't need this guy, yeah I have players from the under 20s that I don't need to have registered oh, it, it was the only one okay this one I, I might need him and he's also Italian so I, I don't really need to take him out but yeah I need to get more homegrown players in the squad I think a lot of these kids in um, three or four years time if we can keep them for that long will will then uh, become Italian as well and hopefully or or homegrown and then it's it's okay oh no this is trained by some oh yes yes so three years oh yeah so two more years because we already had youngsters from last year two more years and we should have much more players train in Italy uh, we, we are okay it's just this uh, yeah we are okay in, in uh, both both um, quantities of players, so yeah, not too bad. Let's go. Oh, I left him out because I don't need you, man. I'm sorry. I I don't think. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'll offer you out to other clubs. Yep. Yeah, okay. Is it? That's what you want. Then bye. He's, he's a nice rotation goalkeeper, but I had to buy an Italian player. Luis Nascimento, the manager of Genoa, says that my team does not have what it takes to stay up. I'm not fighting for relegation, dude. I'm fighting for the Champions League. Are you insane? I think that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's a ridiculous statement. Is this some kind of mind games or whatever he's trying to do? Okay, hopefully it won't work. Well, it won't work with me, but I don't know if these things affect the squad or not. We'll find out very, very soon. Here we go. Let's see who my... See oh, wait a second. I forgot to do the changes I wanted to do. So I'm going to do them right now. So inverted wingers, I want them to be a bit more supportive. This, I don't know this. This is what I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to play with the false nine. Although, he does go wide. He does go wide. Trequartista, does he go? No. Because I want a guy that goes... This guy goes to the... 
wings yeah this guy doesn't go to the wings can i edit the role and say to i say we are moving to channels move into ch why is this says to search lines possible maybe to search the overflow with the plane surface hmm this should be why isn't this good why do they cancel each other Oh yeah, because moving to channels, that means here it will probably just stay on the right side and here it would go to the right hand side. Hmm. I'll try this. I'll try this one. Yeah, I'll try this one. Um, what else did I want to do? This is okay. This is okay. Yep. Yeah. Transition. Transition. I think I will want to regroup. And out of possession, I want to bring the line a bit more back. Okay. So these are the changes I want to try. This season is going to have a bit of trial and error like last season. Hopefully, we'll be able to fix things if this doesn't work out so i told my season manager to pick the team for me but uh, yeah this doesn't look right there's a lot of players that are extremely tired okay someone is knocking at my door i'll be right back okay here we are we were picking the team for this game and yeah i want a few changes i definitely want a few changes low sales uh, i think okay this this should be okay and of course the new guy 17 year old straight to the team <laughs> when we have romania and de la corte ready but this is the manager prefer this guy yep i think we all do ball-playing defender, none of this is a ball-playing defender, but I can train the hell out of him his technical skills, actually, let me do that before I forget additional focus, passing yes, passing indeed and I want him to be trained as a ball-playing defender yes, okay let's go, yeah, the team is not great because I, yeah, I didn't notice the freaking friendlies, but yeah, we'll see we shall see we need to start this uh season well we need to really win this game what oh yeah the new guy let's go let's go oh they are playing a bit uh defense well not really they just kind of have a big blank space here that we might take advantage of we shall see i have so many kids and except for these two everybody else is a region they're building a brand new squad here at Sampdoria. Hopefully this will work all right. Is it going to be the first highlight, first goal? Linetti, too much space to cross. Vieira, Kekic, Linetti. Look, this guy is completely alone. Rossi, come on, show me that I didn't do a mistake by... It's a fall. Okay, free kick, Piris. Hit the post, hit the post, hit the wall. We have 26% ball possession. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to... I'm not going to reach any conclusion until we have like two or three games at least. And we are really not in a good physical shape. I should have paid attention to the freaking friendlies. Normally they... they assistant managers they do normally make like four or five oh so much space nice interception nice interception we're still making more shots than they are but 25 percent well, but this is just ridiculous this is ridiculous guys come on don't make me go up there or go in there into <laughs> the pitch well, look at this, 80% ball, are, are, are you guys kidding me? 25% ball possession. I'm shocked. 
I'm shocked by what I'm seeing. Ooh, yay! I don't know how this ball went in, but yay! 26% <laughs> ball possession and we made 9 shots on goal. <sighs> What's going on with this? Oh wow, this is like pinball. <laughs> we scored by accident, he was on the floor. <laughs> nice. I don't understand what's going on. And it's not changing, it's actually getting worse. What the hell guys? 80 for maybe Torino is not attacking. Maybe that's it. This is weird. How can an attacking formation only have twenty three percent ball possession in forty minutes? But we are winning, so I can't really complain. Maybe this is good for this specific game, but... Yeah, I mean, I don't care about ball possession, but this is ridiculous. Are we going to score number two? Lynette, so much space. Ooh, it hit someone. But we have eight corners, 11 shots on goal, and only 24% ball possession. I mean, obviously, does it matter uh, how much of the ball you have, but when you have the ball that you do something and we are actually doing something but i can't i i can't be happy with this i am happy with everything else that's the weird i never i don't remember ever ever having at half time especially against an average team like torino this kind of stat it's just I don't know, and now all, all our midfield has yellow cards, so I need to start. Rondelli! Rondelli is making the difference for us. Okay, I, I don't know what's going on here. I need to do something. I definitely need to do something. I don't know exactly if this is exactly what I should be doing, but uh, uh, I need to do something. Yeah, I think I need to put this guy, yeah, like this. It's, it's actually been quite an easy game so far. It's just a ball possession, it's weird. Highlights, they was fairly quiet in the second half, after the second goal. To the first highlight in a while. What's going to happen? Pires, okay, we don't have a lot of people in the box. Wagner, Vieira, a lot of sp Oh, you wanted to curl it in? Nice. I like the idea. The execution, not so much. Let's keep refreshing the team. And next will be... Will be... I guess Hondele deserves to rest. And I want to see if De La Corte is a good player or not. So I'm going to start playing him as often as I can. Highlight for us. And they did nothing basically. With all that ball possession they did absolutely nothing. And we are still dominating. Not the ball but everything else. Pirish? There he goes. There he goes. Our best scorer from last season. He couldn't, he couldn't not be on the score sheet on the first game of the season. Good cross from Moray. A nice header from Pires. Very well played, guys. And we are in the first position. Yay! I think we are the first ones to play. That's why. Oh, no. Finally, chance for them. Oh, yes. It was a chance indeed. Come on, enough highlights. 3 nil is perfect. Don't ruin it. Nice. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to, I guess. Well played, guys. We actually didn't need to run after them and, and take risks. And we're just controlling the ball. Wow, now we have 33 ball possession. Yay! 3-0. <laughs> Great start of the season. Great start. I'm so happy the way things are going. I'm not happy about this though, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. A few more games because it's very difficult to to 
uh, reach any conclusions when most of the squad doesn't have match fitness. Once we get people fit, once they they get a um, few games on their legs, then we might uh, we might have a better idea. So this beginning of the season is not too bad. I thought I had to play the fourth um, a Champions League qualification, and apparently I didn't. I ended up in fourth place. Oh, maybe that's because one Italian team won the Champions League, so we got one extra place. Oh, maybe that's why. Let's see, champions. No, Manchester United are champions. Maybe the Europa League. No, Leverkusen. So the first top teams in Italy, Serie A. Overview, stages, rules, rules. Ba, 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 ba. A squad presentation. Continue to qualify top four teams. Qualify for the Western Fleet group stage. Wow. Straight to the group stage. What? This is crazy. We must be, uh, by we I mean the Italian league, must be very well rated. How can I know? How can I know the rankings? Seedings, is it? Uh, no, 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 this is not what I wanted. Um, F no, Europe. Maybe just Europe. How the hell do I see? How the hell do I see the thing? I maybe I have to go. Oops, not here. I see the coefficients. Europe. Uh, club competitions. No, Europe. No. Europe here, rankings, rankings, nation club, yeah, so we are in fourth, so we get qualification places, yes, yes, okay, oh yeah, we get, we get four, the top four get four, wow, this is, this sounds a bit unfair, and then the fifth and the sixth get two plus one, yeah, this seems a bit too much, I don't know why I'm complaining. It's, I'm, I'm <laughs> really benefiting. The benef oh, I'm one of the teams that gains something with this. I can say benefiting, be benefiting, benefiting. Let's go with benefiting. You know what I mean, I hope. But still, it just seems a bit weird. It's a big gap, look. Yeah, I, this is so unfair, I think. This is so unfair. Should, should be a bit more distributed uh, across more countries but you know money and stuff anyway no point dwelling here so yeah guys um i hope you are as excited as i am because we have a great team with a lot of talent and we are starting well so we'll see how we'll do in the league and on the champions league as well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again uh, probably on the first game of the Champions League. Bye!